almost bright enough to do video means it's almost bright enough for me. No, just joking. It's always bright enough for me to take pictures. But the skies are starting to light up. I know you can't see that now. Maybe I'll flash to a picture. Boom, 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 boom. We're at Boston Temple, Boston LDS Temple. And they dim it at night, but not quite dim enough to get star shots. But that's all right. It's a full moon. No, it's not quite full. And it's just about time to go. Talk to a security guard. Well, a guy that was working at the temple overnight, keeping, keeping it safe. And he was saying that they just dim it. I was hoping they'd turn it off so I could take some star shots. But it works. And it's almost go time. And we got trees around. And you'll see them in a second. Okay, let's walk around. It's getting brighter today, and the light schedule for this temple is weird. It starts off dim, it goes bright, brighter for like 10 minutes, and then they just shut off. And I usually like them, this is how I like it. No light when the stars are out, and then as, as the stars start to go away, the light comes up on this, and then as soon as... And then it goes super bright right about now. This would be the brightest. And then as sun hits it, it starts to go back down. So when the sun is fully on it, that's when the lights fully shut off. Okay? Get that. I hope that church offices get my, uh, I hope all churches get my memo on this. You got that? Okay, I know you want an update. The colors are hanging low along the horizon and uh, the only real good spot was from over there to get any color and it was just barely enough. And the sun has struck the temple. Which means it's probably time for me to go untethered. Untethered means no tripod. It also means no trailer when I'm <laughs> driving. So it's dual purpose. It also means no power plug into the laptop. It also means no tether on a thing that is tetherable. Um, would that be, uh, yeah, <laughs> I can't think of another example. <laughs> All right, peace. Wow, I wasn't expecting this kind of building. <laughs> this something else saw it and I was like whoa I made a last minute change of the route I was like, I'll go down there and then I was like whoa 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 stop here take a couple pictures no I don't know where I'm going I'm just driving around basically okay so here's the deal about the Cedars of Lebanon church and that is the actual church this is like a recreation that's where the pastor or whatever they have lives church is under renovation as of like a day ago this lady was telling me she had a real thick Boston accent and uh, it was very nice and uh, gave me kind of the heads up and said on the 100th anniversary they planted 100 cedars of Lebanon. Um, but they were growing in Oregon. Obviously can't get them from Lebanon. But I believe these are they. There's 100 on the property. And she told me to watch out because the, they grow upwards, the pine cones. Anyways, I'll take some pictures of the cedars. It's all Greek to me. Okay, so I am at the Greek School of Theology. Who knew? Here in Boston. And this is the chapel there. All right, so now a shout out to my college roommate who served an LDS mission in Greece. And now my one and only Greek phrase that I know. Katalevene, katalevene, eleneka, och, katalevene, eleneka. <laughs> I think I did it right, more or less. <laughs> hey, look, that's Boston. Boston, I wonder if you can get a good view from up here. That'd be cool to get a skyline view and a cool view of this church at the same time. I'm gonna have to see. Okay, remember, I'm on level four. I'm in Boston, train station, Alewife, Alewife, whatever. Oh, where do I go now? And the streets of Boston are lacking in much traffic at all, come to find out. Who would have thought, with all this talk of traffic, not too much around this part. So I got off at um, Charles Meeting House. Ooh, where was that meeting house? 
I should have probably taken a picture of it. Probably had to go back to it or something. And I'm gonna walk to African American place and then I don't know. South Church. Okay, so here's the traffic. But if you want to go down tiny little streets, not much traffic. First church, first Baptist church in Boston has some awesome ivy. Look at that. Freaking awesome. And then what's this? Looks like this is like a parking garage on wheels. I don't know what this is. Do anyone know? All right, the old South Church, and the guy's playing, he's not even playing it, he's just playing the recordings, trying to sell recordings at Copley Square. Makes it a little more difficult to take pictures of the building, but from the other angle, it was pretty good. Okay, so this is the inside of the old South Church here in Boston. You get a peek, nice stained glass, cool looking pews, super dark. Organ right in the middle, a big stained glass, cool chandeliers, all pretty difficult to photograph. Got the tripod. Oh, looks like a little engagement session over there. This would be a nice little park. Look at that tree. Sorry, I'll stop walking so you can look at the tree. Maybe I should stop walking and talking all the time. Hey, squirrel. What are you doing? What you doing? What you got down there? What you got? What do you got? What are you getting? Hiding something? What you got going down there? Yeah. More engagement pictures. Aww. Two photographers on this one. This little park's nice. Look at those trees over there. I like them. They're like changing colors, but they don't look like they're a changing color kind of tree. Mmm. Pretzels and cheese. What you eating? Hey, Michael. How's it going? We're in Boston, and he's eating something else. I don't know, sure. We're a little pub. Harp, or what is it called? The Harp? The Harp. The Hop. The Hop. But the Hop. It's wicked good. Seems very Boston to me. Dino's. Taking a few night shots. I've been trying to do it right I've been living a lonely life I've been sleeping here instead I've been sleeping in my bed Sleeping in my bed This is the Old North Church. Mike, how's it going? Mike was hey. cool enough to ask the Sexton for to come in and take a couple pictures. Yeah, I gotta bring people like Michael along more often to get fun access like this. In this cool church, and this is Sexton. He's telling us all some of the history too. He's a cool guy. Some days he feels like it. And some days he doesn't. Today was one of the days he felt like chilling out for a little bit. All right, now time for the train ride home. We gotta take the green to the red and then the red all the way 